So what is point cloud? Um, there's a lot of different technologies out there and uh, that deal with um, scanning and, and uh, surveying um, terrain now and um, the, uh, so there's a great, um, great way with open source software like this cloud compared to bringing in data. I'm going to show an example. This is from the open topo US map. And I'm going to bring in what's called a LAS file, um, LAS or LA. And these files have over millions of points. This one is over 11 million points. I'm going to bring it in. So it comes in as a map. To, um, it's usually, um, you see the top view here and, and you can go down here and see all the properties, points and the shift. And the purpose of this intro is in a few minutes show you uh, uh, the 3D side. So I'm going to go in the, this view, the front view, and use my mouse to go down here. And so it still doesn't look, look like a bunch of colors. But one of the things from 3D is the use of what's called shaders. And there's a few shader types. My preference in this software is EDL shader. It takes the uh, um, the data and really um, emphasizes the, the superficial um, trees, the the canopy, basically. Of the, and LIDAR is classified in many types. And uh, again, you can see the scattering the intensity and one of the preference I've been working with with this data set, um, which is the LiDAR itself, is to color it with a height ramp. So you know what's higher and what's lower. So you notice the reds are the high and the blues are um, the cool low. And uh, you notice a lot of the features in here uh, that really uh, set um, the uh, example. And there's a lot of things you can do with LiDAR. You can analyze it. One of the things that I extract a lot and a lot of uh, uh, map server providers um, will always provide the LiDAR DEM digital elevation model without the trees. But you can do it yourself. Um, but what, you, what this shows is that not all LAS files are the same. That's the problem with 3D data. It's a uh, so many different formats out now we're dealing with the mesh data now with um a 3d point cloud data so this one i'm very familiar with and i um, fused it again i go in the front view and uh, notice i added a new set in gray here um, and i'm going to take this again the same thing colors height ramp you can tell where the mountain is because the mountain this area in this area is all red um, Again, full of rivers, streams. So this one was already classified um, from the LiDAR, but I just want to demonstrate that to you. So you go into your uh, oops, uh, classification and then strip from um, one to 2.1 the data that you need. It just takes a while here. And so now you get the data, then you delete the uh, original, so then you don't have any trees or um, just, and you can reset the height ramp for this. Uh, on it here. All right, get it set up. Again, this is open source software. Uh, colors. There we go. Go with the default, and then you get the thing mountain again. Just to show you uh, the original raw LiDAR format before I got to that mountain. Um, that mountain is built of many point clouds, but what I'm bringing into is just a single um, region or area of the point cloud. Again, it's 20 million points. Just to show you, so this is what you normally would get 
and I mount. And if you noticed, just let me go and make sure the uh, shader's on here. Yeah, sure. These are the point calls of all the trees. And if you're doing a tree study, um, you know, it would be a great um, way. I'm going to strip it just to show you. Again, I'm going to go down to uh, a second. I'm just going to top few years. I'm going to go into classification again into this min max range 1 to 2.1 export. Voila. So then you get just the train. Okay, and uh, um, just let me delete the original one. And you can save that out as a, as a last file. But again, what I commonly do is I height ramp, and I like the height ramp because you can see what um, is higher elevation versus the uh, lower. Remember, if you hold down the Alt key, you can, you can get the point clouds a bit um, um, converged together. These are one meter resolutions, so so um, there's about six points per meter um, that are covering to create this digital train. Anyways, that's an intro to LAS files, and, and, and all LAS files uh, are not the same as we've seen today, and uh, um, but, uh, it's really changing the way we look at landscapes. Another thing, um, just show you some really neat tricks from my experience. Um, um, what you can do is actually save viewports. Uh, uh, so you can actually create viewpoint here. Um, uh, let's, let's bring in here. Let's go down here. So if you're looking at this river brook, um, play viewpoint here as an object. And let's go over here and say where I'm holding down. And I want to show this part. Um, and then I'm going to turn around here. Let's get a nice top view of the whole site overview. One thing you can do is hold down all these viewpoints, with the shift key, and there's a really neat setting in here to create um, an animation. It's a plug-in animation based on all these. You'd set up the duration. The longer, the better say uh, 15 seconds and uh, I'm just gonna set the bit rate higher super resolution you know want high frames per second um, and you can preview it just to show you it takes a while but it shows you uh, um, the pr um, uh, basically a, an animation walkthrough and you can render that and put it into uh, um, a video format called mp4 put it right into your uh, YouTube or um, your preference for viewing and in this way people don't have to go into the cloud comparator software they can view that point cloud and as an animation that's it basics cloud basic uh, issues thank you